New at 7:30. We first introduced you to Bowtie Boone last week, and now this sweet, loving beagle from Butler County is getting some pretty big acknowledgments for his resilient spirit and a really inspirational story as well. And joining me now live over Zoom to talk about it is Boone's parents, Boone's pet parents, Mom Tanya and uh, Dad Charlie Dibel. So thanks so much for joining us uh, at 7:30. And I have to tell you, when I posted about this on my Facebook page that Boone was going to be a guest today, and I put a picture of him up there. Like everyone knew who he was. <laughs> you find that is that happening all the time? Yeah. Yes. Quite the celebrity. So first, I want to tell you for the folks who don't know about Boone, tell us a little bit about Boone's adoption journey because this really is such a touching story. Well, we have a nonprofit called Joey's Pot, and we provided um, a wheelchair for him, and um, we were offered to foster. And we ended up just falling in love with him and adopting him. And um, he, I knew right away he would be an amazing therapy dog, and he has been. Yeah, and so tell us what kind of therapy he, um, he actually provides. What kind of work is he doing? We do um, at the airport the pit paws, mm -hmm. and we do the, Amer um, the Children's Home and Mary and Lee Foundation, and we have kids read to him. And he goes into uh, schools and for special needs classes. And he generally um, has a really calming effect over anybody that actually meets him. Wow, he has quite, quite an agenda there, quite a lot of tasks to do. And we're looking at some video of him right now. And tell us about the apparatus, too, because we see dogs who are missing their legs. I mean, this, this kind of set of wheels really is just life changing for them, isn't it? It really is. Yeah. Actually, the first time he put we put wheels on him. He actually wagged his tail for the very first time. It wow. was amazing. And um, he it's from Handicap Pets and it's a very lightweight uh, device for him and he absolutely loves it. Yeah, it looks like it works just great. Wow. So his story has also inspired you to write a children's book that also won a national award, right? I mean, when you have a story like this, I'm sure people are like, you got to write a book. And so you did. Actually, I, I, I really was wanting to tell his story in a lighthearted version. And so um, we so he could inspire children. And he when children meet him, he really they really go to him. And so what's interesting is when we wrote the book, um, people are now asking, when's the next one? And so I'll be working on the next one. Yeah, and that's not the only acknowledgement, too. He's moving on now to what is it, the second round of voting for the 2021 American Humane Hero Dog Awards? Yes. So that's how folks who are watching can help, right? Tell us about yes. that. Yes, it's all from voting, yeah. and we're so appreciative of that, yes. Um, well, we're looking forward to uh, seeing what happens with that. Yeah. And we're going to have a link for you and tell you all about how you can vote on our website at kdk.com. So thank you guys so much for joining us. Boone, good luck. Thank you. Hopefully we'll so have a local you. hero dog here soon in Pittsburgh. Thank you for having us. Thanks thank for joining you. us, guys. All right.